You have to go out there and earn the respect every single time. Officials tonight are Rob Kuhneman, Michael Kitts, and Brian McNutt. Off we go from Williams Arena. This entire night, Marsh is a handful. Keep an eye on their post players. Another guy to keep an eye on as we touch down in the open. Jacksonville typically will stretch out the shot clock. Gets down under 10. Bridget, nice leaning floater, able to tie up the game. Minnesota, meanwhile, got off to a rough start against Purdue Fort Wayne on this floor in the last game. Trailed 9 0, really. At the other end, an and one opportunity coming up here for Jamison Battle. Sweet jumper, and so look, you have to come out and show your hand, get discombobulated defensively, and he just attacks the defense and gets overextended. And boy, he's got big 10. But what a huge story early, like you pointed out. March with two fouls. He's one of their Warriors inside. He just couldn't afford to pick two early ones up. There's OC Osifo draining the mid-range, Jay. It was only a nine-point defeat. The Knights. This is a kid that we liked early on. Bryce Workman watching film on him strong. Davis drives to the rim. First time we've heard from him, their leading scorer. Lowy to the rim, able to muscle that up and in. He's got to get his leg over and get on top of that screen. Shot clock at five for Peyton Willis, who got to the rim, finished. That's a blocking foul. Go ahead to the line for one more. And a couple of good last names for the front court, right? Workman and Battle. Right, and, and Battle. Big time three right there. It's an 8-0 run to the Golden Gophers that answered a 6-0 run for Jacksonville. Now the Dolphins trying to stem the time out of the break. A rejection down low from Charlie Daniels. Shot clock winding down for Willis that hasn't been a problem for him so far. Gets another to go. Get the ball in the teeth of that defense and kick it out for open shots. Elijah Stevens takes it to the rim and finishes. Brody on the floor right now for Jacksonville. Due to that foul trouble, shot clock is winding down. A step back from Brunner. Off the mark, tips back up and in. A turnover, back comes Davis. Little Euro step, couldn't finish. Brown looking to clean things up and does. Did not rush it. Time Sutherland, who we talked about, is one of the boosts off the bench for this Minnesota team. Crafty move there. Sutherland, if you're just tuning in, averaging about 10 points per game off the bench. Minnesota able to capitalize on what was the seventh turnover of the game for Jacksonville. Out of late shot clock offense from him. Utilizing the window that time. And it's a nine-point edge. Oh, absolutely. They want to keep this game close. Their two horses are on the bench with foul trouble. They're controlling tempo. It's just a matter of hitting shots like that. Ball back in the hands of the Golden Gophers leading score. Ninth turnover for Jacksonville. Hurry down low. Count that bucket and a foul. But just not really what we expected to see. A uh, three-point party was not on our list. There's a lovely cut and a finish down low from Rod Brown. 18 to 26. I mean, with all the foul trouble, I think the Dolphins would take this with all their main guys on the post sitting on the bench right now. Battle feeds Curry. And a lovely finish at the rim. Shot clock dwindling. Tommy Brunner able to connect. Eight-point game. Osifo and Marsh have to touch the ball on the post in the next possession. That was too quick of a shot. Goes against the game plan that the Dolphins are trying to work here. Beautiful footwork. Turning Jay from battle goes down. They're guarding their yard. They're staying at a stance. They're rebounding down, and that's been the trend for them early this season. They are ahead defensively. And where I, where I thought they would be. Big time shot. Elijah Stevens running the floor and finishing. 17 point lead. Block has been winding down all night on the Dolphins. Cleaned up that time. 
On the finishing end is Brock Brown. Marsh, the post touch, and a pretty finish. Again, what they thought they would get out of him in the first half. Likes to mix it up, but he's going to have to step up his game big time over the next few minutes if they're going to get back in. That guy who just scored there, Jamison Battle. They're now 0 for 12 from deep. Willis counted in a foul. Willis came out pretty assertive. Defensively, guarding Bruner there, second chance, cleaned up by Bryce Workman. Jassy Powell, slipping his way to the rim, crafty little finger roll finish. Now Willis needs to find the basketball late in this shot clock. He needs to be one who puts it up in this position. Instead, it's Sutherland. They're able, able to lull those guys to sleep, get them off the balance, and attack them. It's very impressive watching them play one on one. Mike Marsh found the Davis air ball to make it a 10 point game. Rebounding advantage has favored Jacksonville offensively. Last few minutes, this time the mid range J finally goes down. Maybe the door opening up a bit for the Dolphins, thanks to a 15 6 run. Stevens able to answer back. Those would start to fall if they continue to make that pass, and there's a perfect example of it. Post battle between Curry and Marsh, and Marsh won that round. They battled back. This is where they where they wanted to be with all their foul trouble and their poor shooting. Yeah, Marsh may be a little too well rested for his right. liking. Perhaps that mad energy you talked about earlier. Another three. All of a sudden, they're dropping. Marsh once again defended by Curry that time stripped away. Peyton Willis, the captain for Minnesota, finds Sutherland with space. Drilled it. Six Minnesota natives on this Golden Gopher roster. Trying to build in the grassroots. Battle is one of the Minnesota natives. They go back to him, and he goes up strong. Eric Curry with five points tonight. Sneaks it down low. And Willis on the finishing end. Captain to captain. I believe he exploded for 16 points in the two overtimes. Mark's going an otherwise pretty decent night for Sean Sutherland. Where you talk? Minnesota team not expected by most to start 5-0 on the year, but they've done just that under their first-year head coach, Ben Johnson. They make the extra pass as well as any team I've watched this year.